Hello. Hello, my dears. How are you? I'm very fine. Thanks to God. I'm born just like a hello from Ethiopia. I'm doing my job here at Thomas University as physics lecturer. As usual, I'm requested to do this problem. Please, can we do together, my dears? That's good. What it says? It says, what did the boy add force on the five kilogram object of relative density this ten when immersed in the fluid having the relative density force? Very good. What the meaning of relative density? First, as you know, it's force of buoyancy from the argument's principle is equivalent to weight with the weight of the displaced fluid. That is the density of the displaced fluid, the volume of the displaced fluid times g. But my dears, the very important thing is knowing the what the meaning of relative density it is. This relative density is nothing, but it is the density of the object with respect to the density of the water or the ratio of the density of the given material within the density of the water. Very good. If you understand this very well, the relative density of the object is 10 meters. It's simply to find the density of the object. Okay, as what we have discussed, the relative density of something is the density of the object over the density of the water. This implies that the density of the object is equal to simply the relative density times the density of the water. Since the relative density of the object is 10, and then the density of the water is 1000, and then it becomes 10,000 kilogram per cubic meter. With the same manner, the relative density of the fluid is given. That is 4 by the density of the liquid within the density of the water. This implies that the density of the liquid, the density of the liquid, okay, is equal to the relative density of the, the liquid times the density of water. It becomes, this is for, this is 1,000, it becomes 4,000 kilograms per cubic meter. If so, if so, the next step will receive is to find the value of the force of buoyancy, that is, the density of the displaced fluid. Now the density of the displaced fluid in this part, which is 4,000 kilograms per cubic meter. And then, the volume of the displaced fluid, the volume of the displaced fluid is nothing. It is the mass of the object over the density of the object. That is 5 kilograms over 10,000 kilogram per cubic meter times mm -hmm. 10 meter per square of second. Great. Kilogram per cubic meter cancelled by kilogram per cubic meter. That's good. By 1,010, by 1,004, that's good. By 10, 1, by 10, 1. 4 times 5, which is 20 kilogram times meter per square of second, which is known as Newton. So, the force of buoyancy is, in short, is 20 Newton. We did it together. Thank you for watching.
please don't forget you have to subscribe to my channel and then please put your opinion up on the box thank you bye bye